how greatly you would quicken your speed if an enemy were at your back. So, decision making in life and in art. With my painting, I think 90% finished with the person sitting on the chair overflowed with all those mark making decisions. And it takes me back to my uh, youth when I was uh, 18, maybe 20. I remember I was able to make very quick decisions. In my time between 20 and 30, I was like this with decision making. Even if I felt the decisions I was making were maybe not right, I was making them anyway very quickly with full confidence because I knew that this gonna be only a short period in my life and I can change it whenever I want. I don't have to stick to that one decision that will rule my life forever. And I think that reflects in my painting a lot as well. That's why I also like to use oils, just because if I make a wrong decision in the painting, I know I can change it. I know I can go back to it. I know I can put another layer, another mark, another brush stroke, or completely uh, repaint the painting and make it something new out of it. As you know, I mentioned uh, in my previous videos that I really like uh, Seneca. Seneca uh, was with me uh, since I was, I'm not going to lie, since I was 16. I think that was the first time when I bought um, some of the books uh, about him and books uh, with his uh, letters and with his uh, uh, writing. And one of them, my favorite, was the book uh, with qu quotes from across all of his uh, writing he did. Letters, other philosophical approaches uh, to life. And I remember I was uh, reading this book every day, opening randomly on some of the quotes. And then uh, I moved to the UK and I lost the books. My parents moved several times. So the books that I had disappeared somewhere, I don't know where. And just uh, recently this year, I decided to uh, go back to his readings and writings again. And I got some of the books, so I keep uh, reading them. And then when I go chapter by chapter or randomly open it, I come across those um, quotes that are oftentimes about the life but indirect relate to decision making. And in one of his uh, letters that is on progress, the title is on progress and it explores the idea of progress. He writes to one of his friends, I believe, as again about the shortness of life. He's like, he's known for it. So in almost like every other letter, he mentions something about the shortness of uh, life. And then he talks how unsteady we are in our life approach. And maybe he means perhaps decision making. But he wrote something in one sentence, something that touched me now very deeply. And, <laughs> and he says something like this, how greatly you would quicken your speed if an enemy were at your back. It is a very powerful sentence and it takes me back to my life and my decisions. And then makes me think that even um, when I was younger, when I was making those decisions, uh, whether to move to a new city, what I'm going to do in my life, whether this job or this opportunity 
or this school will change my life, how it make my, my change my life. Even if I was afraid of failing, I was making those decisions very quickly. Maybe supported by my parents, maybe uh, supported uh, by my friends or people I knew at the time, some mentors. But I was able to make those decisions no matter whether I was failing or not. I think that what he means by that we would quicken our decisions if the enemy was at our back is that those decisions cut our past really fast whether that's good past or not we quickly cut from the past to build the future and when i think about my painting when i make the decisions and sometimes destroy something that maybe was satisfying i think that by destroying it i oftentimes build something better upon it and it's the same with uh, life so if you struggle as an artist making decisions in your painting sometimes making quick decisions failing and maybe destroying the work bring something better for the future i'm going to leave it right here with seneca philosophy seneca wise words for tonight Stay tuned.